been around 84 years since Tiny Build and Dynamic Pixels gave us anything with regards to an update that brought something new and refreshing to the Halo Neighbor game. However, on the 1st of December, an update dropped. The neighbor got himself a new vacuum cleaner that gave him a little more edge over the player, and there were a few tweaks to the neighbor's artificial intelligence. December 3rd rolls round, and everyone on the Tiny Build mailing list received this rather ominous looking email. Granted, some people thought it was spam, but if you looked closer, you can see it wasn't, but was more of a clue. The subject field in the email contained a code, and when entering that code into a browser, it brings us up a website with a rolling message of present opened as text, look at the bottom. So within the email was a link to a picture of a present. When you open the picture within Notepad, of course we find another cryptic message, but like the website suggested, if we look at the bottom, we found the words, new game, no input, 600S. So let's think about this, it's telling us obviously to open a new game, no input means don't touch anything, and 600S translates to 600 seconds, to which 600 seconds is in fact 10 minutes. Now the notepad translation of the image said new game, no input, 600 seconds. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna touch a thing, gonna let this cutscene transpire and not move whatsoever and see what happens. Don't you just love the mystery that this game creates? I absolutely love it. Okay, so not touching anything. So we're just gonna leave it. I'll see you in uh, 10 minutes, I guess. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's like, oh, it's one of those glowing cubes. Oh my word. Holy, oh, this is just, oh man, I love dynamic pixels, dude. I assume it's exactly like some of the other cubes that we just walk into and console enabled. Okay, so first and foremost, we'll try the AI error dumping code. That was the first one we used in the previous error maps. I've got a feeling that we were supposed to come across this first before the error maps. And I think it was because everybody in the community just, as soon as an update happens, everyone in the modding community just dives into like the source files and they find out stuff like this. So let's give this a go and see what happens. Okay. What's this? What? Whoa! What? That's moving. I'm not touch. Hello. No dumping at last. You can erase me now. I don't want to be the test unit anymore. Listen to my commands. Corruption start in three. Two. One. Corruption starts in what? Okay, so we're back in the error world again, but whoa, what happened there? But the music's use command part one, line 31. Right, so I guess we just got to go and do the same thing that we've done before using the oh no, wait, hold on, the one upstairs is behind a gate that we have to open. Uh, let's go around the back. Hold on a minute, where? There it is, yeah, cool, sweet. There we go, okay, right. First line, boom. Here we go. It's, it's, it's very different from the one before. Look, I mean, the sky's going crazy. I have a feeling that we found these error maps too early, so... Okay, use command, part one, line 31. As well, shout out to Rips for uh, giving me the actual codes that I need to use instead of me having to search through part one to get to line 31 and then using the codes. All right, let's whack this one in. Okay, boom, right. First animation has begun, console disabled. Hmm. See, look, the neighbors, see, look, 
He's totally... Ah, we found these maps way... Whoa. Yeah, we found these maps way too early because there's new animations in this. So it's pretty cool that everyone did. But right, this is what the error map should actually look like then. This whole thing is time stamped. That's amazing. Right, okay, let's do this one. Sweet. Hey, right, okay, so part two, line 11. Right, sweet. Let's enter the code. Right, okay, cool. Second one done. I feel like we're trying to... What the hell? What? Whoa, whoa! Oh my word. I feel like we're trying to help the neighbor for some reason. Okay, right, next up. Uh, that one over there. We needed to get boxes to jump up there too. Okay, come on. That's it. Get us up. Get... Oh, damn! Okay, get us up. That's it. Boom, up to the moon. Woo! Yeah, I've definitely got a feeling that we found these error maps way too early. Uh, this is obviously like a timed event that was occurring, which is actually really cool. I love the whole timed event things. It just adds so much mystery. Right, okay. There we go. Come on, move, 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 move. Whoa, whoa. Why did you just throw me in the air? That shouldn't have happened. Oh my God, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. Right, okay. Let's get in here. Part two, line 35. Let's go. Sweet, console enabled. Let's go. Okay. It's it's almost like the neighbor's self-aware. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god, he doesn't like that. Whoa! What on earth? Right, okay, part three, line eight. Uh, there's one over here, if I remember rightly. Oh, no, no, what am I doing? Look, there's the tree one over there. Okay, okay, okay. I've just realized I don't have my umbrella either, so hopefully we can do this one without an umbrella. I know for the other one, I definitely need an umbrella, so I guess we'll soon find out. Okay, here we go. Oh, that hit go, baby. Right, okay. Oh, no, going over too far. Going over too far. Oh, man, come on. Oh, need an umbrella. Right, okay. Let's get this done. There we go. Okie dokie. Right, let's flow inside the box. Console in over. Right, part three, line eight. Let's go. Okay. Oh. Ah, oh, some exorcist type stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, his head's back now. <laughs> oh. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, right. Let's go and find the other one now. Oh, no. Hold on. We've done that one. I'm trying to think. Wait a minute. So we've done this one. We've done the tree one. We've done that one that leads to the moon. Oh, man, there's one left, and I can't remember. Ah, the toasters. Yeah, that's over here, isn't it? Okay, right, in the toaster. Kaboom! We need to land on that one. Oh, man, this one was like... I remember this one being quite technical. Here we go. Oh. Oh, are you kidding me? Right, here we go. Whoa! Damn. Totally forgot about that one. <laughs> Okay, so if I do remember rightly, we jumped over to here. Oh, man. Where is it? Oh, there's the box. Right, gotcha, gotcha. Or the cube, even. I wonder what's in that house outside the graveyard. Seems rather weird to put that there. Well, okay, let's just fly straight over to the cube. Phone's ringing. Not interested. Okay, down we go float down now and then we got to enter part line uh, part three line 38 let's go and uh, console enabled come on boom there we go right last one right okay recompile 
Right. What's going on? It's just T-posing and I'm frozen. Right, I can't move at the moment. Whoa, hold on. What's gonna happen now? Right, we're back at the menu. Okay, so let's let's think about this. Let's let's wrap this up a little and see what we have. Right, we had an update drop for Hello Neighbor giving us a huge update. Notice the picture of the present. If we actually opened that picture of the present in Notepad, it tells us the same code as the 3rd of December email does. So all you guys in the Hello Neighbor community, Rips and Greenhouse particularly, managed to find the error world earlier than we actually should have done. That's why in my first video we are stuck after using five codes and nothing happening. Because we did it all in the wrong order. If we opened the update present picture on November 30th first, we'd have found the creepy glowing cube in Act 1 and completed the error world map and been transported back to the menu. Which, can I add, is not an ending. Come on video game news. It's not an ending mate. Stop clickbaiting. So if you guys actually find anything on your adventures and even your search through this new weird cryptic side to Hello Neighbor, leave them in the comment section down below. But if you're enjoying this sort of stuff, leave me a like, leave me a comment to let me know. And I guess until next time, see you later, bye. Well, you made it to the end of the video. That must mean you like what you saw, right? If you did enjoy it, leave me a like and leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, why not hit subscribe? If you do hit subscribe though, make sure you hit the notification bell because that tells YouTube that you want to know every time I upload a video or whether I go live or something. Until then, see you later, bye.